polynergic system welcome to pharmacomania we are going to discuss polynergic system parasympathetic innervation through craniosacral division so cranial part is through first is the third uh, cranial nerve is the oculomotor nerve which supplies to the circular and ciliary muscle of the eye which causes constriction of pupil Seventh now is the facial now which supplies to lacrimal gland causes increased secretion of the lacrimal gland which also supplies to sub this is the submandibular gland and it also supplied by the facial now which causes increase the stimulation of the salivary secretion of through the submandibular gland. Ninth now is the glossopharyngeal now which stimulate the submaxillary gland and causes increased secretion of the saliva. Ninth now is the vagus now, vagus now, which supplies to bronchus, causes bronchoconstriction, increased secretion of the lung, and it inhibit or slow down the heart. It also supplies to GI tract, causes increased motility and relaxation of the sphincter. Also supply to the stimulate the bile release and increase the digestion of the GIT. It also supply to the kidney and sacral part is supply through sacral division of third second third and fourth spinal root and causes it relaxes the smooth muscle of bladder and it contract the smooth muscle of bladder it contracts smooth muscle of the bladder and relaxation of the sphincter so voiding of urine become easy and it also supplied to genitalia now ciliary muscle pancreatic and gastric gland only supply the para, through the parasympathetic division when sweat gland hair follicle spleen and most of the blood vessel are having only sympathetic supply now synthesis storage and release of the acetylcholine acetylcholine is the major neurotransmitter of the parasympathetic nervous system it releases from pre ganglionic as well as post ganglionic uh, neuron of the parasympathetic nervous system now how does it synthesize so choline choline is enter into the exon through the sodium choline co-transporter it enter to the exon through sodium choline co-transporter and acetylated with the help of ATP and coenzyme A by choline acetyl transfer is present in the exoplasm and form the acetylcholine. Now acetylcholine enter into the synaptic vesicle. If and uh, stored into the synaptic vesicle, otherwise it destroyed by the acetylcholine acetylase enzyme which is present in the cytoplasm, exoplasm which is present in the exoplasm. Now acetylcholine is remain in the vesicular vesicles, synaptic vesicle. Now, whenever action potential generate calcium enter through the calcium channel and uh, in presence of calcium, this synaptic vesicle is moved toward the synaptic membrane to the exoplasmic membrane and through exocytosis, this acetylcholine re release in the synaptic cleft. So, after releasing in the synaptic cleft, either it binds to the post synaptic receptor like muscarinic and nicotinic receptor are present at the so post synaptic uh, membrane and it either bind to the this nicotinic and muscarinic receptor or it re-enter into the presynaptic membrane through heterogeneous or uh, auto uh, heteroreceptor or autoreceptor or it hydrolyzed by the acetylcholine esterase enzyme so choline release from acetylcholine and reutilize for the formation of acetylcholine so this this is the cycle of acetylcholine now hemicholonium is the substance which inhibit the entry of choline so this is the red um, this is the so this is the red limiting step of the for the synthesis of the acetylcholine second step is the acetylcholine enter into the synaptic vesicle so vesemicol is the vesemicol vesemicol is the substance which inhibit the entry of the acetylcholine for the, in the 
cinematic vesicle and third is the botulinum toxin which inhibit the release of acetylcholine through the synaptic vesicle now cholinergic receptor there are two main type of the uh, cholinergic receptors are nicotinic as well as muscarinic receptor nicotinic receptor at nicotinic receptor nicotin is the agonist when muscarinic receptor muscarin that is the toxin found in the mushroom is the amanita muscara is agonist uh, both type of the receptor can be activated by the acetylcholine there are major two type of the cholinergic receptor muscarinic and nicotinic receptor muscarinic receptor are uh, divided into five group m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 so this odd number is m1 m3 and m5 is gq coupled receptor and m2 and m4 uh, is the inhibitory type of the receptor when nicotinic receptor are two type n m is the neuromuscular muscle type and nn are the neuronal type of the receptor nm um, uh, receptor are present at the neuromuscular junction when nn receptor are present at the ganglia or neuronal junction nicotinic receptor are stimulated by nicotine like nicotina tabacum cultivated tobacco so this receptor are stimulated by the tobacco and these receptors like autonomic ganglia and n voluntary muscle like nm and secretion of epinephrine from the adrenal medulla is due to stimulation of the nicotinic receptors so nicotinic receptor location is the neuromuscular junction all autonomic ganglia and brain subtypes are muscular type is nm and neuronal type is nn are present in the uh, ganglia as well as central nervous system so this is what is the mechanism of action of the uh, neural receptor nicotinic receptor so this is the general uh, these are the uh, alpha 2 alpha to beta and gamma this is the ion channel so mechanism is a ligated ion channel family of the receptor opening of cation is the sodium channel and plane plate depolarization occur if this ion channel is open sodium enter into the receptor and and plate depolarization occur nicotinic receptor are two type nm are sodium potassium depolarizing ion channel they are located at the skeletal neurovascular junction mainly postsynaptically and in response contraction of the skeletal muscle by depolarization of the muscle and plate and end receptor are sodium potassium calcium depolarizing ion channel they are present at the autonomic ganglia mainly postsynaptic membrane depolarization of this membrane causes increased outflow of acetylcholine and increase nor adrenaline release from the post ganglionic parasympathetic as well as sympathetic nervous system adrenaline medulla increases adrenal uh, adrenaline on large doses and in cns production of pre and post synaptic excitement and also pre synaptically releases the neurotransmitter now nicotinic type of the receptors are actions are uh, at the neuromuscular junction therapeutic doses muscle contraction at toxic doses it relaxes relaxation of the para, uh, and or the paralysis of the muscle at the ganglia stimulation of the sympathetic and parasympathetic ganglia at high doses persistent ganglionic stimulation and blockage of transmission adrenal medulla releases of the catecholamines like adrenaline and noradrenaline now muscarinic receptor uh, are muscarinic action reproduced by the injection of muscarin from the amanita muscaria similar to those of the parasympathetic stimulation multiple muscarinic cholinergic receptor distributed in the different tissues therefore the muscarinic action are depend on the receptor in different tissues and different cell so the m1 receptors are present at the parietal cell of the gastric mucosa and neural m2 receptor are cardiac receptor and present at the SA node av node atria and conducting tissues m3 receptor are glandular or endothelial exocrine gland vessel smooth muscles 
vessels and spoon muscles. M4 are the neuronal pro CNS and M5 are CNS, neuronal CNS receptors. So, muscular receptor are five type. Locations are neuro affected junction and smooth muscle and glands. So, subtype are M1, M2, M3, M4, and M5, depending upon the pharmacological specificity of the molecular cloning. M1, M3, and M5 are excitatory receptor, M2 and M4 are inhibitory receptors. Muscular receptor are G protein coupled receptor, M1 are antric or GIT. M2 cardiac, 3 M3 glandular or vascular, and M4 CNS, M5 present in the CNS. So M1, M3, and M5 are agonist to or are excitatory neuron, increase inositol diphosphate and diacylglycerol, increase intercellular calcium, causes stimulation, and decrease potassium conduction and depolarization occur. Mostly excitatory, CNS excitement, gastric acid secretion, gastrointestinal motility, glandular secretion, contraction of the viscera, vessel smooth muscle, and vasodilatation occur due to this M1, M3, and M5 receptor are the stimulated kind of the receptor. When M2 and M4 are inhibitory type of the receptor, mostly inhibitory, cardiac inhibition, pre synaptic inhibition and neuronal inhibition decrease cyclic amp decrease calcium channel and increase potassium conduction and causes hyperpolarization so these are the receptor m1 receptor is the stimulatory inositol triphosphate causes and diacyl placenol cascade activated location is the cns autonomic ganglia and glands so response will be increased cognitive function due to stimulation in the cns and increased scissor activity increased dopamine release and locomotion depolarization and stimulation increased secretion in the gland it increases the secretion of the gland so m2 receptor i inhibited receptor it activates inhibition of cyclic camping production and activation of potassium channel. So, hyperpolarization occur. So, predominantly in the heart, more in nodal and atrial tissue, less in ventricular tissue. So, at SA node, response will be slower down, sp um, slow, spontaneous depolarization. AV node, decreased conduction and velocity, conduction velocity. At atrium, decreased refractory period, decreased force of contraction particular slight decrease in contraction also expressed in cns neural inhibition increased tremor and hypothermia smooth muscle it, it, uh, contraction of the smooth muscle can occur and autonomic nervous terminal are the neuronal inhibitory decrease gang ganglionic transmission so again m3 receptor a stimulatory type of the receptor it uh, act through inositol triphosphate and diacyl this will cascade location are predominantly at the GIT and urinary bladder smooth muscle. So, contraction of this muscle causes increase uh, uh, peristalsis of the GIT and increase urinary flow. Exocrinal gland increase secretion of the exocrinal gland, endothelial or smooth muscle of the blood vessel, vasodilatation mm -hmm. via nitric oxide mouth with the smooth muscle. In CNS, neural inhibition and dopamine release. M4 type of receptor are inhibitory uh, at the cyclic AMP production and activation of potassium channel causes hyperpolarization occur and preferentially expressed in CNS and particularly in forebrain. So, response will be autoreceptor and heteroreceptor mediated inhibition of transmission release in CNS and periphery. Other responses are analgesia, cataleptic activity and facilitated dopamine release. M5 receptor are also excitatory through the uh, inositol triphosphate and diacyl glycerol cascade, predominantly in the dopaminergic neuron in the ventral tegmental area of the subjunction nigra and dilatation of the cerebral vessels and uh, arterial and facilitated dopamine release. 
so muscarinic receptor are present at the eye at eye contraction of circular muscle of iris through the anterior receptor and contraction of the ciliary muscle contraction of the ciliary muscle for the near vision through the anterior receptor and decrease intraocular pressure these are the changes in the eye due to parasympathetic stimulation to through anterior receptor contraction of the circular muscle of the iris contraction of the circular muscle of the iris so meiosis occur and intraocular pressure decreases so in heart bradycardia occur due to decrease in heart rate through m2 receptor on endothelium releases nitric oxide so vasodilatation occur relaxation of the smooth muscle of the vessel and vasodilatation occur in lung constriction of the bronchial smooth muscle increase bronchial secretion through m3 receptor in git increase motility increase peristalsis increase secretion of the git relaxation of sphincters so diarrhea can occur through m3 receptor urinary bladder contraction of the muscles and relaxation of the sphincter through m3 receptor so voiding of urine can occur and on exocranial glands increase the sweat saliva lacrimation bronchial and intestinal secretion through the m3 receptors here is the graph of arterial pressure of the venous arteries get measured by sir henry dell and he got the nobel prize for this experiment in this experiment he uh, shows uh, that uh, two different kind of the effect of produced by the acetylcholine so in a is the lower dose of acetylcholine for causes volume blood pressure due to vasodilatation in b you know, a large dose of the acetylcholine produces bradycardia and further reduction in the blood pressure c is the atropine block the effect of the acetylcholine in uh, lowering blood pressure effect and d is the still under the influence of atropine a much larger doses of acetylcholine causes rise in blood pressure and tachycardia can occur so th these are a and b is the muscarinic a and b is the muscarinic effect of the acetylcholine and c is the muscarinic antagonist effect of the Uh, atropine and D is the stimulation of the, the sympathetic ganglia by stimulating an M N N receptor causes stimulation of the sympathetic nerve and uh, releases norepinephrine and causes rise in blood pressure. Thank you for watching the video.